Good morning everybody and welcome back. Time to have a little look at this mud battery again. It's now had a week to sit there and do its thing. So we'll have a little look and see what is coming off of it now. Um, we're on the same setup as we had before. You might notice the water level has dropped so it's evaporated out. It's also probably used up a lot of the oxygen that was in the water. And if I cut one here, we now have 0.6 of a volt. So we've gone from one volt down to half a volt. And if I come down into the water, half a volt. So slightly better pickup off of our treated electrode. There we go, that's the electrode and that's the water. Okay, so we've lost power output. We've dropped in power output. Uh, my feeling with this is either that we've used up the oxygen, we've used up the sugar, or I think maybe it's just got cold because it's gone from 20 degrees down to three or four degrees now um, and freezing at night. So it's been indoors, but it's, uh, it's pretty cold in here. So I'm gonna pop it in the sun and we'll see if warming it up has any effect. Let's take another quick look at our current. And the machine zeroed itself out on 0.7.8. It will come on here. And nothing at all. Okay. Now, it might be that my machine is not sensitive enough to actually pick up the uh, current that's there. It might be in the milliamps range. Um, and this is a 40 amp setting. So that could be part of the reason why we're not seeing any current. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to stick it in the sun, give it an hour to warm back up, and we'll have a look and see if our voltages change. And then we will find a load, uh, put an actual load on here, and see if we can measure a voltage across a load and its resistance and calculate a current flow in that way. I have just spotted something that might actually be causing Mark the problem. I'm not sure if you can see this on here. There's a lot of air bubbles have formed in the mud. Um, or gas bubbles. And when I moved the box, I had a little, little blop, 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 blop coming out. There you go. So perhaps gases are getting trapped in there and have isolated the electrode. Oh, look at that. That could be a big factor. Reckon methane. I think that's probably the problem. Let's give that a minute to settle down and we'll do another set of readings. I have moved the box out of the sun because we need to know whether this is a gas trapping issue or a heat issue. And if I leave it in the sun, we'll never really be sure. So let's have a look on there. 6.25 volts. We'll give it 10 minutes. Let's give it 10, 15 minutes to see what it does. And if we don't get any change, we'll put it back in the sun and we'll see if it will warm up. Okay, I've had a technical cup of tea and a bit of a think. We'll come to those in a moment. Um, it's had time to settle. So let's just have a quick look. 0.6 of the volts. So it hasn't made any difference to the available voltage. And if I come just into the water, half a volt. So that hasn't actually changed my supply voltage. Um, now we'll put this back in the sun and we'll let it warm up and we'll see what that does. And then we'll come to the things I've been mulling over in a little bit. She's been sitting in the sun for an hour or two while I've been doing some eBay shopping. And we still have 0.6 volts. And negligible ampage or no ampage. So, okay, that's not it. Right. Had a bit of a look around online, had a bit of a think. I'm gonna make you another little video and we'll go through some of the biochemistry and theory behind how these things work. And maybe we'll understand why we're not getting anything off of here.